All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Stick War Legacy. So today, I've got a question. I mean, if you haven't been aware, you've been living under a rock, or you just never played the game. They've added skins for the giants, and look at this. Now, we've played as the lava, as the savage, and the leaf. But there's still, there's still two more giant skins we've yet to acquire. The ice. And then the vamp, which has lifesteal. And I want to see just how good the best skin in the game is because it costs 6,000 diamonds, which is somewhere in the range of, I think, like $45. 45 US dollars, and I'm about to do it. Oh, that kind of hurt. So let's see just how good the best skin is. All right, so what we're going to do here is see just how strong the best giant is. We've got tier three with the vampire skins versus the giants in the campaign. So the first thing we want to do is obviously build up our workers. We want to get as much gold as possible because I don't know if you're aware of this, but giants are expensive. $1,500 a pop. Now you can also get Griffin the Great and you know what? Hold on. How expensive is a Griffin the Great? He's a thousand gems, which is about 10 bucks, I think. Somewhere around $10. So, oh, wow, they already have a giant. Okay, that's kind of terrifying. How did that happen? Hold on. We're gonna have to go ahead and do that. Yeah, yeah, you guys, 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 hurry, 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 get that money! Oh my god, there's a giant right there! Alright, everybody go back, give me that money. And then boom, okay. So, we're just gonna have to hold on, our miners are just gonna have to go out there and uh, defend as much as possible. Okay, he doesn't have another giant yet, so this is gonna hurt. All right, and I think about now, we can go ahead and call our miners in. We'll, we'll, we'll get two more, because if you can see, there's two guys dead on the battlefield. All right, giant, defend us. Defend this land. So let's see, one hit versus one hit. Now remember, I'm not controlling him. He's also getting some splash damage on our statue, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and get a second giant out here because, oh, look who it is. It's another freaking giant coming our way. Now, I loved in Stick War 2 how you could send your miners back to base, but not your soldiers. I always liked that, and I wish we could do that now. We, we can't really see the health, but let's see if we see some damage popping up. Okay, that giant, we do 125 right there, but that's because he wasn't facing us. I think we're doing the same amount of damage. But there's also these plus sixes, and I think that's due to the lifesteal. Yeah, I, I'm letting too many of our... Alright, I'm not seeing a third giant yet. I let too many of our miners kind of die right there, so we're gonna have to build that up. And once we clear this out... Alright, we can, we can send our guys to defend. There's a third giant coming. But look at this. The vamp, the lifesteal, they have lifesteal. That's the big kicker. I think they get about six damage. You know what, let's go ahead and send our guys out so we can rebuild our mineral line here. Alright, let's watch the numbers. 62, 62, but plus six. So every time they hit, so every ten hits they get, they take back the health that is basically a giant doing the damage to them, right? Something like that. And this miner's just like, hey, I'm gonna join the fun. But it is keeping them in the fight. Plus, it's a two-for-one situation right here. So, I've gotta say that the lifesteal is pretty good. Oh, this miner's going way over there. <laughs> Go ahead and steal their gold, friend. Steal it. Okay. How many giants do we have? Oh, we lost one. We lost a brave giant, but we've got two. One's almost dead, and we've got a third one on the way. 25 damage, and that miner goes down. You know, it's funny, I'm not very well aware of the hit points of all the units. If you look on the wiki, there's a wiki, but it's not very good, because it, it combines Stick War 1, Stick War 2, Stick War Legacy. There's all of them, you know? Yeah, but that lifesteal of plus six, I think is pretty good. I'd be curious to see if the vampire Spiritans also have lifesteal at that same number of plus six. Does every unit that has it get plus six? All right, so at this point, I think it's time to go ahead and guard up. I don't think, I don't need those miners. I'd rather have a third giant. 
fourth giant. All right, so we got two giants on the way. Two are here, and then the third one's coming out right now. Let's go ahead and go out and fight, so his splash damage... The giants have splash damage. I never understood why they're carrying a body, because when they're all black-bodied sticks, it looks like their arm is like an octopus tentacle of some sort, man. Some crazy stuff going on here. Like, Cthulhu. Lovecraftian-type monsters, you know what I'm saying? Of course you don't. Of course you do. Cthulhu would be cool. Imagine a big squid face on this statue here. Alright, we're going forth. But I think it's safe to say that one giant to one giant. Now remember, ours are tier 3, so they're a little bit bigger. Or is it tier 3 or tier 4? Anyway, this statue's gonna fall real quick. Doing 100 damage, and each time we do it, they get plus 10 on a statue. Interesting. The key is looking at the numbers. Oh my god, three giants. All right, so this is where it's gonna really be seen how good or how bad the vampire giants are. But I think we also have more health. So, you know, gotta definitely account for that. Well, there you have it. So what if we were to change the skin? Hmm. Now, there's Damage Reflect. I'm gonna equip this, and I wanna see how good we are again. No Man's Land. Now, remember that they get a giant relatively early. So, I'm thinking what we wanna do is, once we have a couple miners out here, we've also got pretty good passive. Basically, our statue, you'll see a gold number pop over his crown. That means he's producing gold as well. Plus 80. You hear that? They already have a giant out. That's insane. All right, boys. They have a giant. They've got a cave troll. Gotta love the Lord of the Rings quotes. Interestingly enough, I, I would be curious to see a game like this, this tug of war style combat with like Lord of the Rings units. I think there's something there. Like it could be pretty cool. All right, we're gonna have to rush him out. Even with the mining rush, it, it's just amazing how fast they come out. We probably, but that's because we went giant to giant instead of like Archidens. Our passive income means we can sacrifice a few brave miners. All right, boys, go forth and get them. We're gonna summon in a second giant and then two more miners. Cause if you look on the battlefield, once again, we've lost about two. Now these ones are gonna get hit by splash damage. Maybe we should. Maybe we should man the fort with him. Alright, so this is damage reflect. So 62. 100. He's doing 100 of the statue. But we're doing 13, so it's 62 plus 13. Oh god. He's, his splash damage is getting ridiculous. We might lose the statue to the splash damage. Defend the fort, man! I even upgraded it, too. Come on, please, please, please kill him before he destroys the statue! Ah! Ha ha ha! Here we go. Quick mining right off the bat. We're gonna do it a second time as well. We need to get that money up because the splash damage was good. Life still didn't... In the first battle, we had the opportunity where the other giant wasn't attacking our statue. The second one, we were not so lucky. Look, we're at... Oh, we're almost at 1500 now. There we go. Good. Okay. Now we should be good. And I'm gonna send them on attack duty. You know what? Oh, dodge him! Woo! Hey, come on over here, big guy! <laughs> it worked. All right. Da da da! Jukes him, breaking ankles. Oh, hey! <laughs> this is actually hilarious. Yeah, that's called messing with the AI, huh? You know what? I'm gonna steal your gold, buddy. Get out of there! Oh, we dodged the animation. Okay, good. All right, let's see what's going on here. And we're almost in place to get our second giant. I think the damage. Ooh, ooh, ooh! That hurt. That definitely hurt. Get that gold back to base, Bucko. Yeah, I don't know. The vampire definitely seems better. 
the ability, like, yeah, we're doing a little bit more damage, but being able to stay on the field of battle even longer is just all the better, right? Now, I I'm tempted to pull in. All right, where's my other giant? Here we go, and we're gonna have a third one on the way. Good. I guess he did take that one down. He, he fought bravely. And there we go, we got a, a second one, since that one fell, and look at that. They're like, on their knees, talking to each other like, Hey man, you ever wonder? We're both giants. Why are we fighting? What's it all about? Why are we- Why are we working for the little man? The Archidens and the Spiritons. Why can't we work for ourselves? There should be a giant rebellion. That'd be a cool battle. Alright. Never mind, I was gonna send them on defense, but Attack. honestly, the other giants keep coming. We're on our third one. And you know what? Oh, I'm out of- I'm out of miners. I'm out of mining, Rush! But this looks like it's going well, so... It's almost like when there's... Let's see, so it'd be about four. Every four hits, it's like you get a fifth hit for free. With the damage deflection of 13. So at this point, I'm feeling I'm gonna- I'm gonna mass up my units, right? I think we're good on gold. We haven't sent anybody over. I'm gonna get one more giant. He's got one coming. I, it'd be awesome if I could send all four of these. I've got one in perfect health. I also wish we could have a button where you could see- you could toggle on and off health bars. I think that would be a nice little, you know, quality of life update. A lot of things that I would do differently with Stick War Legacy, but it's still one of my favorite games. It's just the nostalgia of the stick, man. Stick man? This is a little double entendre, I guess. Could have been stick combo man or stick man. Alright, boys, this is it. We go to defeat the giant statue. We've shown that I think it's safe to say that the vampire skin is better than the lava skin. Um. We were able, but then again, it, it may have also been luck, but I, I mean, it's, there's a reason it costs more. Generally speaking, if it costs more, it's probably better. And there we go, we got two giants in queue, we've got four at their doorstep. We should be able to take them out, man. What if there was, like, the giants had their own faction, right? It'd be funny if there were, like, dwarves and giants and elves, I mean, there's a lot of things you could do with it. Alright, gentlemen. Destroy that statue. Now look at this. There's not any damage deflection right now. I guess when they get hit Is when they do it, right? Alright, how's the splash damage? Let's see. We've got two on the way. We should be able to hold the line here These two are up here fighting Yeah, so every time they hit They lose 13 health That makes sense. So you have to attack them to receive the damage. It's like a mirror almost, right? I guess so. But wait a minute, shouldn't that mean archers get damage deflection too? I wonder if we could test that out somewhere. Let's get another giant now that we're gonna need him because huzzah! We've conquered no man's land. We've shown lava to be pretty good. Let's go to the armory here. Skins. Or giants. I mean, it's the second best one. Now, the only one we haven't seen is the ice giants yet. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Stick War Legacy. If you'd like to see more, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.